Uy, solo. Otro, 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 otro. Solo con el portero. Yeah, if it wasn't for the soccer team, I don't think no one would talk to each other because they're like separate groups. And then like soccer brings us all like together. I get along with my teammates very good. It's like, it's like a second family to me. I got kids from all different countries who speak lots of different languages. And they're out here playing soccer, having fun. That's what I tell them. I have, I have a speech I give at the beginning of every game. They laugh at me. And they all recite it with me. If I forget to say it, they tell it to me. Because I don't say go out there and win. I don't go out there and say kill the other team. I go out there at the beginning of every single game and say, the sun is shining, the grass is green, and we're out here playing soccer. What could be bad? Have a good time. <laughs> and they'll laugh at me. Sometimes it'll be a night game, sometimes it'll be pouring, but I'll say those words. All right, varsity, let's get going. Hay algunos que hablan español, otros inglés, y así, árabe, casi regado, casi de varios idiomas, pero ahí vamos con, con el traductor, digamos que la coach está diciendo algo, eh, otro alumno eh, del equipo <coughs> eh, me traduce a mí cómo es lo que voy a hacer. You know, when I was in ninth grade, I told my father I wanted to be a gym teacher, and he said to me, hmm, I'm not paying to send you away to a good college if that's what you want to be. So I gave up on being a gym teacher, became a lawyer, and then I think I came full circle. But, you know, bottom line is, I'm a jock. I played every single sport there was as a kid. Every single sport except soccer. I played basketball, I played American football, I played softball, I played tennis, I was on the swim team, I was on the diving team, I, gymnastics team. I did every sport there was. I am a jock. She's very helpful, you know. She helps, like, all the, like, players. I think she's a great person. Like if you, if you like need cleats to play soccer, she helps you out um, with the gear, like everything. So she's like very helpful, you know, and nice and everything. Oh, we like speak Spanish a lot, and then like they hear it and see it, and so it's like body language, and then just hearing it. That's how they like know it. Some of the times, I mean, give me his mobile to translate, so he gives me bus, so he's like. يعني اسمي براعدهم بالمكسيك يعني شلون اقول لك؟ وقف فهم يعني شوية داخل بعدين جاي اقول لهم انا اسمي براء مو يعني وقف وها هي. They have a hard life. You know, I coached at Rio Americano for five years before I got here. Um, Rio Americano is a, uh, you know, it's an affluent school. I'd say to the kids, you show up at practice or you don't play. They all showed up. Nobody would miss. Their parents, they could have a wedding they were supposed to go to. Nobody would miss practice if I said, come to practice. But when I came to Encina, I quickly found out that you can't, um, you, you can't do that. You can't say, you, you will come to practice or you won't play tomorrow. I got five guys here today. Some of them are just screwing around. Some of them are working because they have to work. Some of them are studying because they have to study. These kids have complicated lives. And they don't want to tell you necessarily what's going on. Bulldogs, one. Bulldogs on three. One, two, three. Bulldogs. Eh, de peligroso. Está está bien complicada la cosa allá en el Salvador. Entonces, yo con el fútbol a mí no no me gustaba casi, no me gustaba. Pero después vi y como le digo que jugué PlayStation en la FIFA y sí sí me gustó. Allá solo jugaba así como le dicen allá en El Salvador, charamusqueada. Así solo en las calles, así. Y, y no, no jugamos así en cancha grande. You know, I, seriously, I can give you the names of kids who have stayed in high school just to play soccer. They would have dropped out when they were 16 years old and they stayed in to play soccer. And some of them managed to go on and do something. Some of them get lost after that. Who's in the middle? Um, you know, I talk to them about grades as much as I talk to them about soccer. Every single day, I talk to them about their grades. Um, that's what matters in life. You know, great, you can come out here and play soccer. We could have a winning team year after year after year after year, but what difference would it make? I, I told you what I want them to get out of it. Learn how to set goals, learn how to work toward those goals, handle success and failure. That's what I want them to do.
المدربة كلش زينة يعني تنطي فرص وتتعامل معانا بكلش زين وتساعدنا كلش ويعني الله يوفقها. These are great kids. These are great kids and they respond to opportunities. And I think they should have opportunities. I think they should have some of the same opportunities that my children had. Uh, if I can give them some for as long as I can hang out here doing this, why not? I do have a problem with our society that these kids don't have a shot. They, are, they don't have a shot to start with. And if I can do a little something, make this a good year for them, you know, learn all the things I talked about, setting goals, working together, and seeing that there's a world out there. Seeing that there's a world out there and they can accomplish way more than they thought. And, and then they should have the chance to do it. They should have the chance to do it. The sun is shining. It actually is. The grass is green. Yeah. It actually is. And we're out here playing soccer. And we're not going to slip. Right? What could be bad? Have a good time.